morning from today session we will be starting with uh, projections of uh, strike lines if you just remember in the previous sessions we did the projection of points and also i was able to solve some problems i hope uh, my colleague will list out the problems for you so that uh, he can work out those problems in case if you have uh, any clarification you can just post it or once you come back to the college you can just uh, consult your concerned faculty members okay today we will start with projections of lines okay now let me say what exactly we mean by a line so you know that a line is the shortest distance between two points so we say that if i know the projection of the points which are the respective ends of a particular line then that will give the projection of a particular line so i can just consider this particular pen itself as a line so as you can see this particular pen has got uh, two ends let us say it consists as end a and end b let us say this point a and point b these two points has been joined by a shortest distance that is the reason we consider this particular pen as a line now anyway we are interested in drawing the projections of these lines and once i say projections of these lines we know that we have the reference planes so which are those reference planes we consider we considered two reference planes one is a vertical plane and the other plane which is perpendicular to vertical plane is the horizontal plane and also we know that whatever we project from the front and on to this vertical plane we are going to get the front view similarly projecting on to the horizontal plane by looking from the above then we are going to get the top view so we are interested to draw the projections of these particular lines with reference to hp as well as v now for clarity let us define the or i can say describe the position of this particular line with reference to this particular two perpendicular planes the simplest way is i can just hold it like this if i just hold it like this you can just see this particular line is parallel to vp okay similarly if i just keep it like this if i just keep it in this way we can see that this particular line is parallel to hp let us say if i hold it in this way now we can see this particular line is parallel to both vp as well as hp okay so i can say that the position of this particular line may be described as parallel to one of the reference planes or it may be contained in a particular plane also let us have this to keep it here itself so i can say that this particular line is contained in vp similarly i can just put it in or put it on hp that means say that the line is contained in hp also or if i just keep it at the intersection of those two planes now i am going to get this particular line is contained in both hp as well as vp okay then i can say i can hold it like this if i hold this particular line in this way we can see that this particular line is perpendicular to hp since it is perpendicular to hp with reference to vp how it is it is parallel so i can say that this particular line is perpendicular to hp but it is parallel to vp or i can hold it in this way also if i hold it in this way we can see that this particular line is perpendicular to vp but it is parallel to hp or let us say i told you that this is the way i just hold it instead i mean in the first instance saying that this particular line is parallel to both hp as well as vp now if i just incline like this what will happen so as you can see this particular line now is still it is parallel to vp but it has been inclined to hp so i can say that a line can be inclined to one plane and parallel to other so as you can see in this particular case what i am holding here the line is inclined to hp and parallel to vp or i can hold it in this way also if i hold it in this way now the line is 
parallel to HP but it is inclined to VP or let us say I throw to that the line is in this way inclined to one of the reference now let us say if the line is I made it inclined to VP also like this so initially as you can see here now the line is parallel to VP and inclined to HP but if I rotate in this way now either this way or this way if I rotate in this way we can see that the line is becoming inclined to both the reference planes. So as you can see, I just illustrated the position of this particular line with reference to HP and VP. We are going to analyze each and every case in a detailed manner. Okay, let me just write that. So I can just say the line, the position of the line may be with reference to HP and VP can be kept in the following ways. So what I said initially first one, first one is said that the line is parallel to one plane or both the planes. That's what I said the, the line is parallel to one plane or both the planes. Second case I said line contained by one plane or it will be contained by both the plates. Now the third case I said line perpendicular to one of the plates. Okay, now tell me, is it possible for me to say that the line is perpendicular to both the planes? Why it is not possible? Because already we know that these two planes are perpendicular. That is HP and VP, they are perpendicular now. So obviously, if I have a particular line, it has to be perpendicular to one of the planes. Because if it is perpendicular to one plane, then of course it would have been parallel to the other plane. So I should never say that line perpendicular to both the planes. It is not possible. Okay. Now the fourth case, line inclined to one plane and parallel to other plane. So as I said, we are going to get two cases here. What are the two cases? I can say line inclined to HP and parallel to VP or line inclined to VP and parallel to HP. Okay. Now finally what case we get? Finally we get line inclined to both HP and VP or both the plates. Let me illustrate the first case. Very, I have just considered line AB is parallel to HP. Now the line is AB is parallel to HP. Now as usual I need to draw the projection. So draw the projections I need to view from the top. I need to view from the front. Okay now let us say if I view from the front. This is a projector. This is a projector. So that this will be A dash. B dash. So this is the projection. Similarly if I look from the top. So this is the projector. This is the projector. So I am just going to get this. So this is AB. Now let us say this AB, this is the true length of the line. Okay. Now since the line is parallel to HP, you can observe that if I look from the above, your true length will be seen in view. So let us consider this as P. Okay. Now let me now consider that line is or line AB is parallel to VP. So let me consider that also. So let me consider this. As usual, VP and HP. So now the line is parallel to VP now. So let me consider that. Ok, 
you know, let us say this is the line A B I have. Okay. Now this is point A or end A and end B. And as usual, this will be the true length of the line. Now, if I look from the front, as usual, I am going to get this point to be A dash. I am going to get this to be B dash. And this particular line, since it is parallel to BP, what do you see here? I will see the true length. Similarly, if I look from the top, this is the projector. This is the projector. So that I will get this to be A. Okay. So here I said line AB is parallel to BP. Okay. Of course, let us say. I am also going to just draw the auto projection of this. So what is the auto projection of this particular line? I will write the x, y line. Okay. Now as you can see, in the front view, I can see the true length. Let us say, I will get the projection in this way. Similarly, in the second case, I will write the, the reference line. Now, I am going to see the true length in the front view. So, we will first draw the front view line. HP and this is line AB as usual now this is TL now since the line is parallel to both HP as well as VP we can now say that both proper and front view where about the true length okay let me draw the projections so if I just do it I will get this is AB this is also TL and if you look from the front end, B dash, B dash, this is also B here. Now I have just illustrated all the three cases. Now let us say if I want to draw the projection of that, I will write x, y, 9. And if I draw the projections, both in top and front view, B, C, D, D, L. So B dash, B dash, A, B, D, L. Okay, now I can just make a general conclusion. Okay, now tell me what are the general conclusion you can make from this particular the three illustrations. Now we can say that when a line is parallel to a particular reference plane, then on that particular plane or on that particular view, we get the true length, and in the other view, the line will be parallel to x, y, 9, the series. For example, which is the first case. Now, the line is parallel to HP. I have simply said the line is parallel to HP. Since it is parallel to HP, I see true length in the top view. Whereas, in the front view, that particular line will be seen as a line parallel to x, y, 9. Similarly, we just see the second case. In the second case, the line AB was parallel to VP. Since the line was parallel to VP, the front view will give the true length, whereas the other view, that is the top view, that line will be parallel to x, y, 
Okay, finally, since the line is parallel to both HP as well as VP, in both top and front view, we see the true line and those lines will be parallel to XY line. Okay, now we can see that, for example, see this first figure, you can also make another uh, analogy from this. So, what is that analogy? I can say that if the, see in this particular first figure, if the top front view is parallel to XY line, in the other view, I see its true length. Okay. Similarly, if you do this figure, from this figure I can conclude that when a line or when the top view now it is parallel to XY line, in the other view, that is in the front view, I see the true length. Or in the last case, anyway it is parallel to both the reference planes, that is the reason we will get that particular true length in both top view as well as front view. Or I can simply now say that when a line is parallel to a particular plane, in that particular plane, we get the true length. Whereas in the other view, the line will be parallel to x, y line. I think you understood this. Okay. But anyway, as you can see here, I just illustrated through this 3D diagram, you need to have to write these sketches. It is only for your understanding purpose. And also remember, these things may seem very, very simple for you. But once you start go to the other concepts, all these things will be helpful to you. Because always remember, whenever you have very simple things, it is very easy to forget. Okay. Now please don't forget, always you should concentrate on the fundamentals. Okay.